Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and today I want to show you guys what's new in Windows 10 20 H2 update, also known as October update. So this update will be available in somewhere October, okay? We don't have the exact date, but some people are saying that it will be available after the October 13, okay? So we just have to wait. But if you join the Windows Insider program, you can get this update earlier. So I joined the Windows Insider program and I have the uh, 20H2 update uh, earlier. This is a pre-release. So this is going to be released publicly after some time, okay? as I said, in October. So now let's talk about what's new in it, okay? So first of all, the major change you will notice is the start menu plus new icons. So let me compare it with the old version of Windows, okay, side by side. So you'll have better understanding, okay. This is the old uh, Windows start menu. You can see the icons and the tiles in Windows start menu. This is old, but in new, you can see in tiles, there is a no solid uh, color background okay uh, what I mean is like you can see this looks uh, for example look at the photos we have the tiny icon and after that slightly white color okay but in uh, old windows you can see this is just solid color which looks bad uh, for example I'm gonna go here and look for Cortana you can see this is the icon of Cortana uh, looks very bad but in new you can see the Cortana we have new icon which looks very minimal and nice uh, even though i don't use cortana but you know so in 20h2 update default apps of windows have the new icons and the new start menu so uh, let me go here and change the theme to dark and you will see the same thing happening here in start menu we have slightly darkish background of the icon not solid color and it looks very good okay so this is the most uh, noticeable thing you will notice after the update okay 20h2 update so now second most important update is under the display if you go under the display and go to advanced display settings you can see we have refresh rate a setting here so we can choose our refresh rate from here but in old windows you can see we don't have the refresh rate settings we can change the refresh rate settings by going into the display adapter properties from their monitor and after that we can choose our refresh rate but uh, in windows 20h2 update uh, it's here it's much simpler to find the refresh rates and one more noticeable thing we can notice here in 20H2 update is that if you go inside the about your PC settings, here you can actually copy the information about your uh, device, such as your specs and all that. Okay, so you can copy, copy and paste or whatever you want to do. But we don't have this option available in older version of Windows updates. And uh, to be honest, that's all we have yeah these are the only noticeable changes you will notice and uh, uh, there are some improvements to the notification too okay so i don't know it's just me or my eyes but the notification panel looks slightly bluish maybe i'm running in a virtual machine that's why but you can see the difference between the old uh, notification panel this and this maybe there is a slightly more transparent thingy happening there okay so yeah uh, that's all we have and there are many more changes to the 20h2 update under the hood which cannot be seen okay so the actual thing here is that the microsoft is trying to improve the operating system overall rather than adding you know more and more features so it's like they are focusing more on improvement you know about the uh, windows 10 uh, updates whenever they come out uh, they cause a big problem so that's why they are trying to focus on the improvement 
more okay so you will see lots of improvements in different areas of the windows 10 after the update and all that so you saw the major changes you will notice so yeah this this is it and uh, the people who wants to know how to get the 20 h2 update earlier then uh, let me show you how okay go to update uh, ch check for update settings okay and after that go inside windows insider program okay and here you need to sign in with your account it will uh, show you that a uh, sign in with your account so it will be microsoft account and after that it will uh, give you the option pick your insider settings from here choose release preview channel so this is uh, self-explanatory okay you can see here you can read this and you will understand what kind of update you will get so uh, if you choose the release preview channel this will give you the early access of whatever next version of windows 10 is about to get released you'll get that preview release uh, pre-released uh, version of windows 10 so uh, early access of windows 10 so same thing i did and i got the early access of windows 10 20 h2 update so this is like stable version of windows 10 uh, which is being tested by the people like us who join the uh, windows insider program and if there is any problem then we report the microsoft that there is a problem and all that you know so this is the safest uh, option to choose because you know this is the final uh, build which will be available publicly okay once they know there is no problem so this is the safest one but if you want to uh, go crazy okay you want to try the latest and greatest features of windows 10 you can go beta and dev channel and from there you will get more further uh, futuristic or future update of windows 10 but uh, if you're a like you're using your pc as main pc you do work and all that so i suggest you guys to just uh, don't join the uh, windows insider program but if you want then choose the option of release preview which is like the the safest one as i said okay so this is how you can get the early access of windows 10 20 h2 update and that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the microsoft blog post by reading that blog post you will know more about the 20h2 update that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.